Ah, welcome back to some more Super Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. And this time, we're gonna be doing some more social links slash free time events with uh, some people. Once again, uh, last time we left off, we talked to Nagito a little bit and offered him breakfast and uh, ran the fuck away from from the dining hall. Because he was so spooky. Ooh, so spooky. He is so scary when he talks like that. Sheesh. But yeah. Miss Peko Pekoyama. Do you have time to talk to me today? However. I don't understand why that game is the motive at all. However. No. This isn't good. Might be good if I do some training to calm myself down. Well, can I train with you? Maybe you can teach. You can teach me your ways of swords womanship? <laughs> I'm going to train, but watching me would be boring. Would you like to try too? Heck yeah! I'll teach you how to properly grip a bamboo sword. Ow. <laughs> Boo fucking boring. I already know that sort of stuff, god dang it! I spent all that time today learning how to wield a bamboo sword from Pickle. Okay, well, I guess Hajime has to learn some stuff, I guess. The basics. I think Peko and I grew a little closer. Would like to give uh, Peko a present? Sure do! Well, let's see. What's, uh, what is... Uh, what gift would be good for her? I know that the last time I talked to her and gave her a present, it was really, really great. Like, the best gift. I don't know if I can top that. <laughs> Let's see, so what was it that I gave her last time? Mm. Dice set? I think that's for Chiaki too. To the enact a Dungeons and Dragons game of some sorts. Mm. Another battle? The first in a series of Yakuza films. Oh, Yak. Okay, that is gonna be good for Free Hiko, but. Gold-coated chief. I already gave her that. Let's see if I can spice things up a little bit. <laughs> no, I don't want to give her that yet. Seven sword. A sword discovered inside a clay doll excavated from the island. The blade has the unique characteristic of branching off into seven blades, but its number of uses is already maxed out. Maybe this is gonna be good. Huh. What an interesting item. Thank you, Hajime. I shall use it well. Hey. You mentioned earlier that you don't know much about swords, right? Mm, yeah, I never held a bamboo sword before. That is until now, yeah. Now Hajime well held the bamboo sword. However. People cannot be judged by the appearances. So you've held an actual sword, just not a bamboo sword. Of course not. I've only ever held toy swords, not bamboo or real swords. I see. I see. So you're saying you have no use for our sword? Well, I don't know. I mean, Hajime could use a sword, yeah. In case Hajime is gonna stalk him. Then are you a striker? Or maybe you are a grappler? No. No. Perhaps you are well versed in firearms? <laughs> maybe. I mean, he 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 is uh, getting pretty good at using truth bullets, so he is pretty good with a revolver. Wait, 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 hold on. What are you talking about? Let me explain it more clearly. I completely suck at all those things. I'm not saying I have poor poor reflexes. I already know I'm not a warrior type. I I see. Given your strangely perceptive way of seeing things, I assume that you were you were, but. Wait, how come? Just as I said, you do not have the presence of a warrior. Aw oh, man, Hajime! She had hopes in you. You disappointed her. <laughs> Even if you lost your actual memories, you would not easily lose your muscle memory. Basically. Which means you are not suited for battle, battle in the slightest. Well, there is always time for that. I mean, we can both train Hajime. For battle. For the battle of the century. The fighters of hope versus the army of Monokumas and the mastermind. 
whoever that mastermind is, because... Is it really gonna be Junko again? I don't think so. <laughs> Pelko gave me a terror stare, and I couldn't help feeling a single run up my spine. Hehehe. <laughs> is she trying to figure out my talent? Does she want to know what it is just in case I post a threat? <laughs> I don't know if uh, if she wants to know your talent because you might pose a threat. Just maybe. I think that she's curious too. I, I I don't intend to fight my friends at all. I definitely don't want to do that. Understood. If that's the case, then we must be extremely cautious of those two. Anyway. Oh. Well, you mean uh, not get to for your hiko? <laughs> I understand that. They know the difference between weakness and strength, and they can compensate for each other's weaknesses. And they both have impressive. Offensive. Oh, oh, okay. You meant Nekomaru and Akane. Oh, okay. Hmm. If those two formed an alliance, they could truly pose an unimaginable threat. <laughs> the dangerous alliance Peko is talking about. She's probably talking about them, right? <laughs> you make any book, any bookie? Yeah. Let's go with that. A dangerous alliance. Are you talking about Mikan and Ibuki? The extreme opposites. Working together to fight the despair and destroy the world. They are the world ender. <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, sometimes I can go crazy, Pickle. It's just ugh. I uh, I suppose they may pose a threat in the sense that they are completely unpredictable. It doesn't look like Pickle's talking about them. Uh, okay. What about Fuyuhiko and Kazuichi? That is a bit of a weird combo there, but... Are you talking about Fuyuhiko and Kazuichi? No. It seems impossible to think that those two would team in the first place, don't you think? Yeah. The more I think about it, there's no way they'd ever get along. So... It is Akane and Ekomaru. A dangerous alliance. Are you talking about Akane and Ekomaru? Yes. Though they would only fight in self-defense, they are both perfectly at ease doing it. Plus, the combination of an impressive athlete and team manager poses a formidable threat. Not just that, though they do not specialize as fighters, their fighting prowess is incredibly high. <laughs> However, if something were to happen... <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah! Peko Peko Yama! Oh, hold on! <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? It's pretty weird that you're assuming we'd ever need to fight them in the first place. Well... You, you just never know. <laughs> Hajime... I think it's best if we talk uh, with uh, Pekka about this sort of stuff. Just in case, you know. We'll get out of this place if we cooperate with each other. Why do we need to think about fighting anyone? Yeah, that's right. Let's not fight! We have to escape from, from this godforsaken place. And that is together. No fighting, no kidding. Hajime, you speak the truth. I too would prefer to avoid any sense of killing. However, However, there are times when swords must be drawn. Whether you want that or not. Oh, I had my fair share of that. What does that mean? Well, it's obvious. Every human being has a duty to fulfill their destiny. That will never change, and... There is no need for it to ever change. Hey. However, I do not dislike your way of thinking, Hajime. Eh? Uh, hey, Peko! Uh, even though I called for her, Peko walked away without looking back at me once. Yeah, you know, there is a time for you to fight, and there is a time for you to not fight. You have to choose wisely, Hajime. Well, not fight in the sense that we shouldn't uh, use violence in order to solve like anything. I thought I was understanding Peko, but now I feel like I don't know her at all. I definitely learned some stuff about her. Let's see. Uh, Peko, Peko, Peko. Let's see. Peko doesn't like senseless killing, but sometimes a sword must be drawn. I said we should focus on cooperation. I was surprised she wasn't put out by my, by my idea. Okay. 
Alrighty then. Let's talk to some more people. I should go back to my room for now. And the next person that I'm gonna be talking to is gonna be. Let's see. It's still light outside. There's still plenty of time left. Maybe I should try going somewhere. Or sh I should spend time with someone. Sweet! Alrighty then. So the next one that I'm gonna be talking to is. You know what? Hold on a second. Yeah, you know what? I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Chiaki <laughs> one more time. I feel like talking to her right now. You know. And then after that, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna see about talking to somebody completely different, maybe. Or maybe talk to Gundam, I don't know. <laughs> like, it seems that uh, as of now I have like a three people that I want to talk to the most. Like, a cycle of three. Like, first is Gundam, then Chiaki, then Peko. And uh, we're going back to Gundam, Peko, and Chiaki and all that. Yeah, I don't know. Like, they are the people that I like talking to the most. Well? That I'm interested in the most. Whenever I'm playing games, I get a strong urge to eat whatever food appears in the game. Um. Ah, yeah, I know, I know, right? Hold on. Like, have you heard of, uh, like, you probably played Tails games before. Uh, in those games, you have, like, apple gels, like, all sorts of gels of different flavors, like, like, apple gel, like, pineapple gel, like, lemon gel. When you... When you look at those, it just makes you... Hmm, they sound really, really delicious. And they look delicious too. Like, gels. So I guess I wanna eat donuts right now. <laughs> well, you are playing Danganronpa 1? Uh, okay, let's invite Chucky to hang out. Maybe we can eat some donuts. I wonder if the supermarket has any donuts. Alright, I should go check. Yay for donuts! In the name of Aoi Asahina, we shall eat some donuts. We found donuts and spent time eating them and talking to each other. Alrighty then. Yaki and I grew a little closer today. What what will it be? What will it be? What gift am I gonna give her? I think I'm gonna give her... Uh, where was it exactly? Uh, the fun box. The newest home video game console. It promises a rewarding experience that money simply can't buy. You'll need to buy games for it though. Yep. Um, ah, that looks like something I'd really enjoy. Yep. Yep, I'm happy. Thanks. And... Uh, <laughs> I knew it. Okay, Jackie! Hey! Every single time. I can't believe how quickly she falls asleep in such a short time. Samurai head. Statue of Liberty. Uh, don't shoot the beam there. This is bad. Zombie nation. Eating up humans. Wait, wait, what the fuck? Samurai head, Statue of Liberty, Zombie nation. What kind of game is she, is she thinking of right now? Is she dreaming of? Is she dreaming about the game? I have no idea what kind of game she's talking about. Sorry. It feels all over the place. Ah, sorry. I think I was sleeping again. Maybe she was thinking of Dead Rising again. <laughs> were you playing a video game in our dream too? <laughs> yeah, it was it was fun because it was it was a shooting game. I see. So you like those kinds of games? Yep. I'm pretty all inclusive. I'll play anything from Space Invaders to the latest military shooters. Ah, uh, I also like simulation games. Right now, I mainly play real-time strategy games, but I like turn-based ones too. Hey, hey. So, what do you want to go today? Yeah, wait, wait what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, one second we were talking about video games, and the next second we were talking about going somewhere. 
yeah, um, how about we go to the ranch today? I, I don't really like animals that much. Huh? Really? Actually, I guess I didn't have to choose that time. I, yeah, I guess Hajime really wanted to go to the, to the ranch? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Hajime, you did say that you were gonna choose a, a great place, like, last time. I think, I think you did. Like, is ranch really the best? I don't know. They're warm when you touch them, you know. That's a little scary. Why is it scary? It's kind of hard to guess what they'll do next. Well, I'm better at games that use precise calculations. Where success and failure is decided by numerical values. But it's hard for me to play games where I have to manage relationships. And guess what characters are feeling. Oh. <laughs> so I guess you're not that good at visual novels and thinking about characters and all that. I see. Maybe that has something to do with her upbringing. I don't want to do things Chiaki will hate. But it feels lonely to just leave her like this. Yeah, you know what? How about we look at the animals from far away? The ones at the ranch are pretty tame. You don't even try to touch them if it looks safe. Okay. I think... I, I think, if you touch, if you touch me lots of... Okay, I thought that she said, if you touch me lots of things, it will probably be okay. <laughs> Get my mind out of the gutter over here. If you teach me lots of things, it will probably be okay. I think. Is she relying on me? If so, that makes me, that makes me happy. Yep, it surely makes me happy. Jackie and I decided to walk to the ranch. Oh my, it's a cow. I wonder if it's gonna dance like the one in Dancing Eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> that might be a little difficult. <laughs> well, it is a magical cow. We're talking about a cow that... We're talking about a chicken that got turned into a cow over here. Wait, it's still alive? That cow is still alive? What the fuck? I thought that he was got he was eaten by Monokuma. <laughs> I know I um I know I uh did uh, write that as a text in in the first class trial, but you know it is pretty sad to think that a chicken got turned into a cow by a rabbit and got eaten by a bear. <laughs> that is very weird. <laughs> Maybe I should try touching it a little. Chucky walked up to the cow and Kesha see it pet its back. The cow seemed not to mind, and couldn't even suddenly eat in grass. <laughs> wow, it's really warm. <laughs> oh. Oh, adorable. Well, that's because it's alive. Hmm. I see. You're right. And, I, and here I thought that the cow was dead. Unlike humans, animals don't mind being touched that much. So that might make it easier for me. If you touch a person, something is born from that interaction, right? Repulsion, anticipation, whatever. I'm nervous about stuff like that. It makes me think I'm better off not, not doing any anything unnecessary. Well, hmm. Hajime, how are you going to tackle this one? Like, it's better if I just stay an innocent bystander for as long as I can. Well, you better think about this, Hajime. Chiaki's feelings seem a little odd, but I do understand where she's coming from. I hope one day she can touch not just cows, but people too. Mm. Uh, you know, if we, milk, if we milk this cow, I'm sure the fresh milk must, must be really tasty. Hey, hey. Milk this cow? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, that milk comes from cows, right? Uh, like, you're not telling me that you don't know this, Chucky. What do you mean, from? Milk is milk, right? You know, if you pull a cow's udders, milk comes out. You only need one cow to get as much milk as you want. Huh? As much as you want? <laughs> what the f- <laughs> How can you not know that milk comes from cows? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> okay? 
if you try to cut open a milk bottle, um, a cow comes out of it, right? And it dances, right? I knew it! It's definitely dancing, da dancing eyes! Ah, I see. That must be a joke, right? <laughs> it's, it's, what kind of game is she talking about? <laughs> I explained how milk works to Chiaki in detail. Why are there so many things she doesn't know? As usual, Chiaki is full of mysteries. Yeah, she sure is full of mysteries, that's for sure. Chiaki's report... <laughs> what? Um, okay. Chiaki started to feel sleepy from playing too much. So after sending her off, I returned to my room. Okay. And I guess that's pretty much it. That was the four free time event, so... Mm hmm. I guess that's gonna be the last free time event slash social link of... Uh, of this chapter, eh? Oh. Oh well, well, let's go back to sleep. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Good night, Monokuma plushies. <laughs> I can imagine, like, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, one day those Monokuma plushies are gonna become alive and they're gonna eat Hajime. They're gonna gobble, gobble, gobble him <laughs> in his sleep. On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep. But I can't stop thinking about that game. Yeah, I know, right? Dancing eyes. It definitely sounded pretty interesting. A cow coming out of a milk bottle. A milk bottle. Hmm. I should probably play that in my spare time too. It's not like I believe what Nagito said. It's just not a good idea to leave it alone. What? The, uh, does Nagito also like uh, dancing eyes? Huh. That's pretty interesting. I wonder. Like I, I haven't, I haven't heard his opinion. Ah, his, we are talking about that game. Oh, okay. Twilight Cinder Murder Case. Huh. I should give it a try. Just a little. Just to see how it is. Oh. So we're actually gonna do that. Well. Okay. I can actually agree to that. In the sense that we should learn about the motive, Hajime. We should definitely. Uh... <laughs> Ch Chucky! <laughs> hey! Uh, like. Uh... Hey, having a nice night, Chucky? I uh, I just wanted to go and uh, talk to some other people. I just wanted to talk to Peko a little bit. It's not like I wanted to go and play Twilight Syndrome and all that, so... Uh, oh boy. Uh, Chucky? Um, why are you going at this hour? The Monokuma announcement was just made. Well, you know... What about you? What are you doing, Chucky? Hey, hey. I was about to go back to my cottage. Anyway, what about you? What do you mean, you know? Ah, um... I know, I don't know, I was just... Uh, I wanted to go back to the ranch, I just wanted to... to um, milk the cow a little bit. I just wanted to get some more milk from the cow. It is so tasty. It is good for for when you want to sleep. I felt a little hungry, so I was thinking about getting a snack from either the restaurant or the supermarket. Hmm. I see. So, I'll be going now. See you later. Hajime. Ah. <laughs> uh, Hajime, you're fucked. Huh? Yep. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah, oh, she knows. <laughs> she knows. Like, don't underestimate the ultimate gamer, Hajime. She is the ultimate gamer. She will know when a person will want to play a video game. She looked into your eyes. She knows. That you are going to be playing Twilight Cinder. I feel like she totally saw through me. Yep, <laughs> totally. Uh, but hey, guys, what's up? Uh, why are you guys uh, staying up late here? <laughs> what's with that laugh? You sound creepy. <laughs> what, you found uh, a great opportunity to see uh, Miss, uh, N Miss Nevermind? In, uh, you know, I can't help myself. I just heard something big. Right. Well, there, I can't give any details yet, but when the time comes, 
Now then, I'm gonna go to bed already. I'll see you tomorrow. What was that about? Oh, fuck. He played the, the game, didn't he? Um, what? Wait, hold on. What? Can I go? Uh... Huh, this is weird. I can actually check something over here. I think that is Chucky's cottage, isn't it? No, that is Mikan's, I think. So we can go inside the Mikan's cottage from the window. That's a little bit uh, too much, Hajime, you know? Like, you have your own goals when it comes to girls and all that, but I think that's a little, a little too extreme to go inside the Mikan's cottage from the window and do some stuff. Oh, it's you, Hajime. What are you doing up this late? Oh, uh, I feel like stargazing a little bit, so I just came out here for a short walk. Oh, I see. There's a lots of... There's a lot of nasty things happening on this island, but the mate, but the nature and scenery is quite superb. However, However don't be out too late. It might hinder you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll make sure I don't stay out too late. Pickle! Have a moment. Hajime, good timing. There's something I wanted to ask you. Oh? Me? What is it? No. I wanted to hear your, I mean, general opinion. <laughs> What, is it about uh, fluffiness? Huh? Is this about what we were discussing earlier? What were Peko and Nekomaru talking about? Anyway. Regarding my inquiry, do Nekomaru and I really look like we are cosplaying as characters from a fighting game? <laughs> what? You're talking about that? I... Yeah, totally. Huh? Cosplay? When I walk down the street, I have what I'm often told. I look like a fighter from this game, or a martial artist from that game. I can't understand what you're talking about. No matter how you look at it, I'm only a team manager. No matter how I look at it, that's clearly not true. Honestly. That happens to me too. One time I was, I was cornered by a strange group of people holding cameras. It was very annoying. Really? I mean, uh, from a player's perspective, yeah, you you both look like you were from a fighting game, but from a more realistic perspective, I don't really see that. Not from Peko, at least. Maybe from Nekomaru. So, what did you do? If you don't understand polite requests to stop, it's not my fault if I'm forced to get a little violent. Uh, I think it's better if I don't know the details. Peko, we must confirm it with Hajime. No matter how others view us, we are ourselves. There is nothing to worry about. I apologize. You're right, I agree. I apologize, Hajime, just forget about it. Now that you mentioned so anyway, why are you here? What are you doing out so late? Well, I couldn't really go to sleep, so I was thinking about going for a little walk. I see. I see. Be careful then. It doesn't mean anything is going to happen, but you should be careful just in case. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, a killing might happen sooner or later. We are pre we are getting pretty, pretty close. Unless we're gonna have like three more days of free time events and all that. I mean, that would be sweet, but eh. we're getting pretty close to to the meat of this chapter, that's for sure. But is there somebody else around here? Like, I want to talk to everybody, like everybody. Before I uh, do my own thing. So... Okay, Gundam, Nagito, and some people... Okay. Oh, okay. I know that I'm gonna be making this game, like, extremely longer because of this sort of stuff, but... I guess you can understand, guys, right? Plus, I feel like... Uh, like, uh, a lot of you guys would prefer if I talk to, like, everyone, instead of just going straight to my objective and what all that. Happened, sinner? Plus, I get to learn some more stuff, you know. Just, you never know. <laughs> what business do you have with me, human? Stay back. Stay back. I apologize, but I have no time to spare for you. Instead, I shall let you in or something interesting. Oh? So, does he have time to spare or not? Which is it? <laughs> Behold, that so-called arcade game. Despite your lowly intellect, you humans attempt to create worlds within games, but... 
<laughs> How humorous. How pitiful. Listen well. You humans behave like gods in your fictional worlds. That act alone is an imitation of us. <laughs> okay, well, I was about to say something over here, Gundam. Like, how we create games. We create worlds inside games. Yes, we act like gods in some way, shape, or form. And I was thinking that, well, isn't that just exciting and all that? But yeah, I guess uh, Gundam would have a problem with that in the sense that he is the Overlord. You cannot deny that. He is truly the Overlord. He will, c he has a world of his own. He, we, we don't compare to him, like us, game developers, because... Taste your powerlessness! Taste your powerlessness! The reality you humans cling to and believe to be real is merely one of the countless board games we own. <laughs> I think Chiaki would have some stuff to say. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, sinner? Are you speechless before the truth? Before the absolute truth? Hey, I wasted my time. <laughs> oh, Gundam. You just, you always make me smile. Because of your shenanigans. I don't know, like... <laughs> anyway. Oh, hey, look at this. This actually looks pretty beautiful, with the night sky, and the restaurant and all that. Ibuki, what's up? Emergency! Honeyville! Ibuki is experiencing such awful Kumahara! Awful Kumahara! Kumahara? Kumahara, what? What a Kumahara harassment, aka Kumahara! <laughs> oh! Wait, whoa, what did Monokuma do? Oh, come on, Monokuma. Thanks to Monokuma's announcement, I completely forgot the phrase I thought of. And therefore, he is Kumahara. <laughs> and it was the best phrase of all time, too. It would have filled you with chills. This is a big loss for humanity as well. So you gotta act sadder. Um, I'm sorry for your loss? <laughs> so cruel! What's with the question mark? <laughs> Not just Kumahara, but Hajihara. The book can't stand no more. The hara hara is overwhelming me. <laughs> wow. Hajime, you are a bad boy. You are such a bad boy. What the fuck are you doing here? Uh. Well, you should go with the project tape. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You should go and apologize to Ibuki, okay? Ibuki is, a, is such a nice girl. How dare you, Hajime? Hajihara? Does that mean Hajime is harassment? Yeah. How dare you harass Ibuki like that? Yo. Oh, you fucking wild animal, I swear. Like, you know, I'm thinking about you, Hajime, and Chiaki, and all that. I do have to wonder if you are a perfect candidate for Chiaki. Like, does she even deserve a guy like you? It kinda makes me question, Hajime. Can I really be... Do I really want you to find a girl? I don't know. Yo, Hajime, you look bored. Wanna fight me? Eh, uh, <laughs> what's with you all of a sudden? Huh? Huh? There's something wrong? Normally when you're bored, you fight, right? There's... No way I'd consider that normal. I was bored too, but since there's no people to fight, I was checking out to the co I was checking out the cottages of the fallen. The fallen? The Ahuyan Teru Why? You. Well, someone might mess with their rooms if we just leave them alone, right? Why? We can go inside the their cottages? There's no way anyone would do something like that. It's not like that. But their rooms were locked all tight, so I couldn't go in. Ah! Oh, fuck. Well, I was interested in seeing Teru Teru's cottage. Maybe it had, uh, maybe it had, um, like, a Monokuma plushie. You never know. They were locked? Yeah, Yeah. it turns out Monokuma locked them up. Oh, like man. I mean, come on. When I tried to open the door, he just showed up out of nowhere as usual. He was saying stuff like, 
that chapter is already finished, so it would complicate the game, man. Oh, hold on! <laughs> hey, 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 spoilers over here. Hold on, I think it's best if you don't say anything more, anymore. Huh. Already? Then I should go to bed soon. <laughs> see you later, Hajime. Okay, well, see you later, Akane. See you tomorrow, but... Yeah... You know... Like, in the first game, I, uh... I thought of this possibility that Monokuma is locking the rooms of the already dead students because something is going... something is going on behind them. Like, I don't know. And uh, at some point I did question, like, after we found out that Junko Enoshima was the mastermind, it kind of makes you think that um, the real Junko Enoshima... Why did she scratch that? I was thinking that Junko Enoshima used her own room and um, and did stuff, but she probably was in the data center the entire time. I don't know. But anyway, I guess we shall exit. And I th I'm thinking about actually ending the episode right over here. I guess next time we're gonna be we're gonna be uh, going to the Twilight Syndrome game. What? Look at all that shit. Come on, Gordini. You gotta be kidding me. I don't want you to die like this. Jesus Christ. Look at all this despair that you collect. Well, actually... That would be an experiment. Let's say we have a full hope meter and full despair meter. Is something gonna get... Am I gonna get something for that? Because... I think I may get something if I do that. I know that somebody said that. And also, if I get the hope, the hope meter full, I'm gonna get something from Usami. Or I'm gonna get uh, something good that relates to Usami. I don't know. Uh, let me just give you some more coconuts. Why not? Alright. And just one more present. And I guess that's gonna be pretty much it. Uh, coconut juice. Enjoy, Cody B! Hoo, hoo, hoo. Or Sakura. <laughs> I know, uh, like, uh, I don't know. Somebody uh, did ask me if I were to call uh, Gorimi Sakura, but mm, maybe. I mean, uh, if you guys have uh, any other names for Gorimi, that would be that would be cool too. But I guess for right now, I'm gonna call her Sakura. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's pretty much it for right now. I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end the episode right over here. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to talk to some other people. On my way, I know that Mahiru is over here, alright. Nobody is here. Nobody else is here. So I guess... Well, you know what, just in case, let me see if I can talk to Mahiru, like, right now. Just so that I won't forget. Like, next time. Mahiru? Ah, Hajime. Mahiru, what are you doing here? Oh, um, uh, yeah, about that. Makiru? Miss Koizumi, where did you come from exactly? What were you doing this late? Um, I was thinking about taking a picture of the ocean at night. The ocean at night? Isn't it dangerous? Just be careful, okay? Thank you. Yeah, sure thing. Bye. Hmm. She seemed pretty agreeable. Usually she would say something like, Mind your own business. Well, that too. She probably would have responded differently there, but... Hmm, I do have to wonder about that. 